Hello, welcome to this week's video. I'm going to be talking about all my sketchbooks. So, from my very first one, which was when I was 15, 16, so over 10 years ago, I'm 27 now, um, all the way up to ones that I'm working on currently. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to chat to you about how I use them, why I use them, why I think they're good to do as an artist to keep in practice. Um, so yeah, let's get started. As you can see, I have quite a few sketchbooks that I've filled up over the years and I even use the bigger pads of paper just as a sketchbook instead of just a, a bound hardback or soft cover book. So I thought I'd just take you through a few examples in my sketchbook and talk about why I think keeping a sketchbook is a really good idea for an artist and all the different reasons and ways you can use them. So I think one of the first things, like one of the best things about having a sketchbook is that it lets you experiment with different materials before you commit to like a bigger piece. So here I've got a mixture of watercolour and um, coloured pencils. This was watercolour, but here I experimented with some markers. This is markers, um, just some biro, some watercolour and biro, just biro watercolour, pencil and biro. Yeah, watercolours and biro. Here's some more markers. Um, so yeah, it's just great to experiment with lots of different materials. This was just all um, coloured pencil. They're also great for expressing ideas and interests. Like in my bigger square sketchbook, I just had all these ideas that I needed to put down because my brain was just crazy so I just had to write them all down and it's a good way to document your your thoughts and just yeah ideas ideas that you have for your artwork and then your artworks all there with it in one place. I think sketchbooks can teach you a lot about yourself as well as an artist because even looking at this in my first ever sketchbook from 12 years ago, I can see similarities of what work I do now, which is quite strange, but it's also good you can kind of reflect and see how far you've come. Yeah, I just think it can teach you a lot about yourself, especially if your goal is to develop your skills as well. You can kind of see what you're good at and what you need to work on all in one place. They're also good for experimenting with different compositions. So in this sketchbook, I was just playing around with a few different ways I might lay out um, a bigger painting maybe. And this one as well, it's a good idea just to play around with how things might sit on the page and where you'd want them on a smaller scale as well. So you don't waste time painting a massive painting and for it to look a bit weird or not work out, you can quickly just see where things might look best um, in a sketchbook on a little smaller page. A sketchbook is also great for recording parts of your life like using it as a journal like you can see here I've just popped down what I was doing these days along with some imagery um, things that I've seen what I've been up to um, yeah don't be afraid to use text and use it more like a journal as well it's so great for recording um, and then looking back at what you've done because I'd forgotten <laughs> a lot of this stuff so it's great to just flick back through and see what you've been up to really. I have a, like a, just a purely written journal, but I think using a sketchbook to add some imagery really elevates it to the next level and it kind of triggers memories because you can see what you were talking about instead of just writing it down. If you start keeping sketchbooks and keep them for over 10 years like I have, they're such a good way to track your progress and your skills and see how far you've come, like reflecting back on where you started and how how far you've come. So yeah, like in my first sketchbook, 
it's just me experimenting with some different like hatching techniques and lines and stuff and also doing um, some studies of other artists or like still life yeah just like learning from other artists all the different techniques so yeah just starting off with some like basic studies and stuff if you look then into some of your recent work you can kind of compare how far you've come um, and it's nice it's really nice to look back and see over the years how how far you've come with your little techniques it's kind of a middle sketchbook where i'm getting more familiar with like my drawing style and like experiments with some paint and shadow and how to express that in the colors so yeah it's really nice to kind of look back and see all the stuff that you've done they're also great just for testing some colour combos and doing swatches and then you can look back and see how the paints are reacted, what colours you like, you've got a record then somewhere secure that you won't lose of the colours that you wanted to try or the materials you wanted to try, it doesn't have to be paints, it could be pencils or pens if you get some new ones and you just want to test out how they work and what they come up like. It's a really nice place just to keep a record of things like that as well. I also think they're good because I spent a lot of time doing work digitally, either on my iPad or on my laptop or you know whatever, so it's nice to have something tangible and tactile that I can work in and produce stuff in and use traditional methods um, instead of working digitally all the time so then I kind of keep practicing both. So another way I use my sketchbooks is just like a scrapbook so just sticking in information and images that I like, uh, images that I've done like experimenting with different backgrounds and stuff. Um, these two paintings were actually done on the sea white watercolour paper and then I stuck them in the sketchbook so yeah just a good place to stick in different ideas and textures and yeah a good place to stick everything in all in one they're also really good for just testing out what size of paper or what size canvas or you know just in general what size you're comfortable working at as well so these ones are my smallest sketchbooks and then I have a A4 one and I have another A4 one my A3 if that even fits in shot and my square one as well so well, I have a couple of square ones and a couple of A4s, a few A3 pads and sketchbooks. So I have a kind of combo of all of them. Um, so yeah, it just depends. It gives you the flexibility to try out all the different sizes without committing to buying some big expensive canvas or expensive paper and then realising, oh, actually, I prefer working on square paper or I prefer working really small so yeah really good for that another great thing about them is they're completely yours like you can do whatever you want with them so you could show people you can close it up and keep it completely personal you don't have to do anything with it you can make prints you can take photos and scan scan them in and make prints of your work from there. It doesn't have to be always like a final piece that you make prints from and that you're proud of. Like, I'm so happy with a lot of these works that are just in, just in my sketchbook and I've made cards and prints out of them. So yeah, it's completely yours to do whatever you want with it. 
So I think another good thing about sketchbooks is you can kind of use them as a bit of like escapism because for my day job I, you know, design things for what other people want for the company or I do commissions and it's bringing someone else's vision to life whereas in a sketchbook that's completely mine I can do anything I want and just escape and draw and paint and work exactly how I want to and kind of escape the day-to-day -day real world of what I'm doing and just yeah express myself and do whatever I want. So this is one of my softback A4 uh, sketchbooks. I used it mainly for life drawing. Um, I was just picked this one because it's not got anything rude on it. Um, but yeah, that was just with some fine liner and most of the other drawings in here were with markers or fine liners. Um, but yeah, held up really really well and it hasn't actually got too battered I mean some of my other soft cover ones get a bit beaten up um, and don't last as well as the hard cover ones but I mean I must have looked after this one a bit better but I've just noticed on the back of this one it says extra extra wet strength which means which would explain why they do so well with watercolor and stuff um, so yeah, also a nice, a nice one. So, what sketchbooks do I use? I use C. White and Brighton sketchbooks. I've used them for over 10 years. So my first sketchbook that you saw was when I was 15 or 16, and I'm 27, nearly 28. So yeah, I've been using them for ages, and I've never used anything else. Um, I really like them. I've just used them for all of my sketchbooks and all of my paper pads and stuff, they're a really good, really good brand. I actually featured in their 2017 catalogue, which I've got here. They kindly sent me one um, when it was released because my work was in it. So let me show you, this is exciting. Maybe I'm a bit biased, but I mean, I've never felt the need to find another sketchbook brand like i'm so happy with the quality of them and they do fine for me so yeah there's my work my puffins and my butterfly on the page i've actually got in this bigger a3 sketchbook of theirs is where the original puffins is and I think the butterfly is also in here actually. There's my butterfly. So yeah, that's in my big A3 sketchbook. Um, but yeah, they were kind enough to put my work in their catalogue, which is amazing. So my name and Winchester School of Art, which is where I went to uni, was um, put in there next to the pictures of my work. Um, so yeah, that's pretty pretty awesome and also why, also why I love them. I tend to go for the hard covers. I prefer them, I think they're just a bit more hard wearing and with my little ones I like to take them travelling with me. Um, so I did a few trips um, a few years ago where I could just sketch and I took some of my little pocket paints. Um, with me and I did some journaling in them and I did some painting so yeah if the smaller ones are really really nice for um, taking with you they're quite portable um, so yeah they're just handy handy to have um, A4 are good I like my A4 hardcover ones as well because they're still small enough to take with you if you want to um, but yeah I quite like working in A4 it's quite a nice size for me so one of those um, square have a square hardback one as well I've only just recently kind of got into working on a square format um, but I really really like it 
Um, I love doing paintings in a square format. So with these ones, I've just like masking taped the sides and done some watercolors and yeah, taken the tape away so it looks all clean and neat. But I'm just really impressed with the paper in the sketchbooks because I do a lot of watercolors and use quite a bit of water and it, you can't really see it on the other side of the page and the pages they haven't warped that much like it's still it's still pretty flat considering um, that I've used tons of water on them and they don't kind of the surface doesn't come up and stuff so I think yeah the quality of the paper is is really nice and holds water and watercolors really well well I glued some gold leaf into the pages as well and that top page hasn't buckled or done anything so yeah really good quality and you get really good thick sketchbooks to fill up um, this is one of my favorite ones as well I don't know if you can see but they've embossed it so it says University of Southampton Winchester School of Art on it so it's kind of like a little memento from when I was at uni and I bought this sketchbook and then their sea white logo is just kind of embossed really like nice and subtly on the back so yeah really really happy with them I've never felt the need to go out and try other sketchbooks or use anything else um, so yeah I'm always just really happy to use to use them I've started putting stickers on the front of this sketchbook um, I don't have many stickers but I see loads of other artists that do sketchbook tours and stuff that always have stickers really nice ones from other artists and designers on the front of their books so yeah, I really want to start doing that. So this is just one I got from Redbubble when I ordered some stickers and this is just my own sticker <laughs> and that's just a packaging sticker. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any recommendations of other artists that sell stickers or designers, small businesses, um, anything like that, then please comment down below. Let me know if you have any favorite stickers because I'm looking for some recommendations to start decorating all of my many sketchbooks. So this sketchbook is one of my favorites. It's my smaller square sketchbook and it's from Greyfriars in Edinburgh um, and it's also by Sea White. But the funny thing is I didn't realize that it was made by them. I just went into this cute little art shop there and I just saw it said Greyfriars on the front and I was like, oh, that'll be a really nice memento of my holiday here in Edinburgh and something useful that I can take away as well as remembering where I've been. And I didn't actually realize until I got home that it was a sea white sketchbook, um, which I just must be drawn, drawn to them subconsciously somehow, I don't know. <laughs> But I just thought that was really funny. I didn't even realise it was from them because I didn't... I just looked at the front because the price was here as well, so... And then I just flicked and I had to look. I was like, oh yeah, the pages are really nice. This will be a really nice sketchbook. And then afterwards I realised it was from Sea White. So <laughs> I'm just drawn, obviously just drawn to their products. Um, but yeah, this one... And was making my Edinburgh sketchbook so I just started it with a little a little map of Edinburgh but I didn't get very far so that's gonna be a project project for me to carry on this year is doing more sketchbooking in, in this one so I contacted C white and said that I'm gonna be doing a couple of videos about my sketchbooks and stuff um, hopefully I'm gonna be doing I'll do sketchbook tours of all of my sketchbooks so then you guys can see exactly how I've used them, what I put in to my sketchbooks and I can talk you through the ideas and the meanings and what was going on at the time of all of the pieces in my sketchbook so hopefully that will be 
um, really interest them. But um, I emailed them and said I was going to do this and if they wanted to offer any sort of discount code for anyone else who wanted to get a sketchbook and start sketchbooking or if they just need a new one and they said yes which is amazing um, so I'll leave the code and everything in the description below but you can get 10% off their products which is amazing so everyone can join the club with me and my a million C white sketchbooks so yeah, that was just a quick overview of what type of sketchbooks I use, why I use them, and what I think they're good for. So in the future I'm going to do some proper sketchbook tours and talk you through everything properly that is in these sketchbooks and why I did them, where I did them, how I did them, all of that jazz. So if you have any questions then just comment down below, I love chatting to you guys about all this kind of stuff. Um, I'll leave the discount code and the website to get 10% off your C white materials in the description below as well. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.